It's all right. I got you, kiddo. Oh. I got you. Crow? Is that you I hear? Also, the faint ringing in my ear. <sighs> With a tendonitis there for a second. And I believe it's from the show. Nothing. Just turn it off. Without the CCT, there's no point. Communication down across the entire kingdom. No way to contact the outside world. And Ozpin's still missing. Well, yes, Ozpin is missing. <laughs> Did you see that fight? He was moving well. That last blast, it looked like he took advantage of that to just sort of pop out of there. I wonder where he is. Hmm. Because I doubt we've seen the last of Ozpin. Could have gotten blasted to nothing. But I kind of doubt that. It doesn't seem like his style. Hello. Ruby. You're awake. Yeah. What happened? Your Uncle Crow found you unconscious. He got you out of there, though. He brought you. Ah, it safe. was Crow, I heard. Wait, Yang, is she all right? Uh, she's, uh. She's gonna be all right. I think she's just. Adjusting to the I think cybernetics. Take some time for her to get used to things. Cybernetics take time to get used to. She's too strong to let this stop her. And judging from what we see of the Tin Man, she'll get stronger. Oh, I'm just glad to have my girls back at home. What happened to the school? Oh, at Vale, were they able to clear it's out the Daddy. Things at Vale are under control, but the school—it's yeah—it's not that simple. That thing, whatever it is, doesn't seem to be dead. Don't get me wrong. You did a number on it, but it's not disappearing. It's kind of frozen. Hmm. I know that doesn't sound too bad, but it keeps attracting more Grim to the school. Interesting. So I did what? Did mm -hmm. you said I did a number on it? What do you mean? <laughs> I look. That's not important right now. Did you do a Sleeping Beauty on it? Just kind of a mess. Is the Grim Dragon a sleeping beauty? Hmm. How odd. Mind if we have a minute? What, I can't stay here? Ty, please. I'm glad you're alright. I'm glad she's alright too. I'll go make us some tea. So... So, how you feeling? Um, uh, I kind of hurt all over. Hmm. Ow, my Makes most of me. Mm -hmm. After what you did. You guys keep saying that, that I did something. What are you talking about? What's the last thing you remember? Uh, Pira dying? I up the side of the tower, and when I got to the top, I... <gasps> Pira! Yeah. Is she... Oh, yeah, she's gone. She's gone. I, not unexpected. I, Sad, but not unexpected. I got to the top. And I saw Pira. And Cinder. And then everything went white. Anything else? I remember my head hurting. Mm-hmm. The night you met Ozpin, what was the first thing he said to you? Hmm. I, I don't know. I think it was something about... Silver eyes. That's an extremely rare trait. Interesting. So? You're special, Ruby. And not in the daddy loves his special angel kind of way. Aha! You're special the same way your mom was. Remnants full of legends and stories. Some of I've true, noticed. Some made up. But there's one Oz told me from a very long time ago. Hmm. Back before Huntsman, before Kingdoms, it was said that those born with silver eyes were destined to lead the life of a warrior. Interesting. See, the creatures of Grimm, the most fearsome monsters mankind had ever encountered, were afraid of those silver-eyed warriors. They were the best of the best. 
was said that even a single look from one of these fighters could strike a grim down. <laughs> it's a ridiculous story. I don't know. That was a very dirty look she gave the dragon. You think that I might be... <laughs> well... A giant monster's currently frozen on top of Beacon Tower, and you're here, safe in bed. There is that. Wait, wait, how did you know what Ospin said to me? The night we met? All those missions I go on, all the times I'm away in some far-off place, it's been for Ospin. Mm -hmm. But he's missing now. That... Something that seems set in motion. appropriate. With Oz gone, I'll have to pick up where he left off. Which but might have been I his mean, plan? Hmm. If I'm so special, then I can help, right? Yes. You really want to help? Get some rest. Also You're a good no plan. condition to go anywhere right now. Yes, exactly. You just woke up. You've been through quite a lot. Besides, our enemy's trail leads all the way to Haven. That'd be quite a trip for a pipsqueak like you. Catch you later, kiddo. Nah, she needs some help. Fortunately, she's got some good friends. Do we get to see Yang's cybernetic arm? Oh, she doesn't have it yet. I'm, so glad I'm sure she'll okay. get one. And it will probably be a gun. It's all gone. The school, Penny, Pira, and Yang. Oh, does that count as confirmation of Penny's Blake. death? Hmm. Weiss's father came for her. Ooh. What? What do you mean? No one outside of Vale knows what happened here. Mm -hmm. Before the tower fell, the last thing people saw was Atlas attacking innocent people and Grim destroying the city. Everyone's scared. No one knows who to trust. Yeah, so politics. So father came to take her back to Atlas, where he thinks it's safe. Yeah, I, She's I, gone. I don't think it's going to be safe. What about and Blake ran. Sun saw her go. After we got to the city... She just ran. But well, why? I don't know. Because of Adam, probably. And I don't care. Yes, you do care, Yang. There has to be a reason she... No, there doesn't. Sometimes bad things just happen, Ruby. This is true. So what do we do now? You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna lie here. Yang. Just leave me alone. Have you seen? Have you seen Ironwood? Get yourself a cybernetic arm. I love you. Oh. Oh, Ruby. That was sweet. Huh, if she got the dragon, what happened to Cinder? She was kind of at ground zero of that big silvery blast, too. Frost. So. Hey. Ah! Hey, Jean. Jean survived. Haven's a long way to go. I know. It's the only lead we have. And you're sure you want to come along? Ooh, yeah. Journey will be perilous, and whether we'll find answers at the end. Good, they survived too. Uncertain. But we wouldn't be here if we weren't up for it. Then let's get started. A smaller, more honest soul. It's true that a simple spark can ignite hope. Mm -hmm. Breathe fire into the hearts of the weary. Yep, yep. The ability to derive strength from hope. Is undoubtedly Aww. mankind's greatest attribute, which is why Linda's in my too. I will focus all of my power to snuff it out. How does it feel? 
knowing that all of your time and effort has been for nothing. That your guardians have failed you. That everything you've built will be torn down before your very eyes. Hmm. Your faith in mankind was not misplaced. When banded together, unified by a common enemy, they are a noticeable threat. But divide them. Place doubt into their minds. And any semblance of power they once had will wash away. Of course, they won't realize it at first. Like you, they'll cling to their fleeting hope. Their aspirations. Hmm. But this is merely the first move. So you send your guardians, your huntsmen and huntresses, and when they fail and you turn to your smaller soul, know that you send her to the same pitiful demise. That's an interesting place. This is the beginning of the end, Ospin. And I can't wait to watch you burn. Interesting. Neat metamorphosis. Well, well, well. So that brings us to an end of the th third season. And... Hmm, interesting break in the story. I wonder how they will take it forward from here. Also wondering if they will continue to include more of the mythic elements from the stories. I mean, it was, in some ways, it was sad to see Pyrrha go, but it was nice to see the way she went out. Very appropriate for her character and the history that it was based upon. Eh, if that holds true, eh, it's not going to be a happy end for Jean out of all of this. Hmm, hmm. And Nora Valkyrie is going to go down in a blaze of glory, too, possibly against the giant dragon thing. Hmm. Well, very interesting. And I look forward to seeing what else there is to come. But in the meantime, my gentle viewers, kindly remember, y'all are awesome. Stay awesome. Oh ho. Now that was an interesting appearance, Crow. And with Osmond's cane, no less. Quite interesting.